The Cooler Master Spectrum V3 is one of the very best CPU coolers you can get under the price range of 30 US dollars. And if you have a CPU that draws less than 100 watts, then this cooler is going to keep your CPU really cool. And in this video, I'm going to talk about this cooler in a little detail. I have already tested this cooler with three different CPUs. And in the end, I'm going to share the temperature numbers. The link to the cooler is mentioned down in the description. Please buy using that link if you want to support my work. The Cooler Masters Spectrum V3 is a straightforward air cooler which offers some important things that other coolers in this price range are missing. I previously bought a deep cool heat sink and I was really disappointed with how cheaply it was built and it was also priced at this exact same 30 US dollars. But the build quality of the deep cool heat sink was not up to the mark and I ended up returning it. Then I bought the Cooler Master Spectrum V3 and I was really very satisfied with the way it was built. The installation was easy, the included fan was decent and the performance was also just as I expected. In the box you get the mounting hardware along with some small tube of thermal paste which I won't be using because I have the Noctua's NTH1. Then we have a 120mm ARGB fan that spins up to 1800rpm and ultimately we have the heatsink itself. So I installed the Spectrum V3 on an AM4 system and it was really very easy to install. The Spectrum V3 uses the stock AMD backplate and has these two metal pieces that screw right onto the base of the cooler and that's it. Now you can just mount the cooler directly to the CPU without needing anything else. Once the cooler is mounted on the CPU, the fan is required to be mounted on the side of the heatsink and I'm happy to report that there were no issues in installing the fan on the cooler. The clips that are used to mount the fan to the heatsink work perfectly and I had zero problems in putting and removing the fan. So why am I recommending the Cooler Master Spectrum V3 over any other CPU cooler that is available right now? First reason is the price. It is priced around just $30 and yet it offers some really very decent build quality which is a little difficult to find in this price range. The second reason is the cooler is built really well. Especially for the price of just $30 US dollars, it is hard to beat. And last thing I really liked about this cooler is how easy it was to mount to any CPU. At this point, if you are not sure about whether this cooler is right for you or not, then I will suggest you to get an idea about your CPU's power draw under full load. If your CPU consumes less than 100 watts under full load, then this cooler will be sufficient to keep your CPU temperatures under 75C in the worst case. But this is just a rough idea, CPU temperatures or any component temperatures in general depends on the ambient room temperature and there are some other factors too that you will need to consider like the use of good quality thermal paste, how good is the airflow inside your case and some other factors too. So far I have used the Spectrum V3 on three different CPUs. First I used it on an i3-10100 and the CPU never crossed 50C when I stressed it using Cinebench R15. I also tried this cooler on the Ryzen 5600G and it never crossed 69C under full load. Then I tried to cool the Ryzen 5800X with it and it crossed 85C under full load but that is mainly because of the very small die of the 5800X which makes the heat transfer really difficult and for which we cannot blame the CPU cooler. Overall, I would say the Cooler Master Spectrum V3 is great for quad-core CPUs, good for hexa-core CPUs and will manage some decent temperatures on some octa-core CPUs too. So this is it for this video. I hope you found this video informative and useful. Amazon affiliate links are down in the video description. Do use those links if you want to support the channel. And if you have any questions or queries, then mention them down in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll talk to you in the next one.